hello there, my fellow miners and crafters, good times. With Skyr here, and welcome back to the wonderful worlds of Herbert and Crafting, and we're flying in the heart of the jungle, where our magical village lies. And in our last episode, we foolishly attempted to complete this village with some beautiful new magical creatures, like our dragonfly high up on the canopy of the trees, and of course, down at the water's edge, we have some ants on either end of Larry the Snail, and of course, we've got our angry bee next to the pumpkin patch and the giant windmill and as I said I attempted to finish this because this place never ceases to inspire me for new projects and we are getting to the point where it's time to move on to bigger and better things but as long as there is a little bit of magic within us this village will never be complete because there is always a great big beautiful tomorrow and with that I think we have pretty well accomplished our goal of creating a land a village a place a home for those misfit magical creatures out there to live. No more misfits in the world than the fellas inside of our observatory. <laughs> Look at these guys. <laughs> when I open the door, it, it's just like a little bit too much for me to handle. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh man, I, I love this place. Like it can put a smile on your face even on your hardest of days. Today is one of those days, those rough days, and for a variety of reasons, including this. We lost our farmer villagers again. I don't know how they could have been lost. We made sure this area was fully lit up. Every block is above spawn level. You can't get in here. It is fully secured. It had its door. It had a blockade there. And we lost them. And these were perfect Minecraft farmer villagers. They had all of the trades that we needed. They had been discounted and everything. And they're gone and nobody can figure out how they disappeared. We appear to have some technical difficulties here in the magical village. I am in front of my bed and I, 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 I can't sleep in the bed. It says it's occupied. There is nobody here. I can assure you of that. And it is also nighttime. <laughs> Hello. How is this a thing? I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> I literally have a ghost in my bed. <laughs> oh, B-dubs, we need you to sleep. I can't sleep. <laughs> I'm going to sleep on this hard wood chair for the night. All right, guys. I'll see you in the morning. Sleeping on a wood chair really gives you a creak in the neck there. But we are heading off to the shopping district because we need to check our profits and start our new projects. Our first stop here is the greenhouse of Little Scars. And let's slide right on in and check for our hello profits. Is that a dead leaf? <laughs> Where did that come from? That's crazy. Also super cool. But anyway, hello profits, <laughs> my old friend. Where are you? <gasps> wait, wait, we got one diamond. We did it. <laughs> we got a diamond. We made profit here. Uh, any more diamonds? Hello? <gasps> That's a diamond block. We generated 44 diamonds from leaves and dirt. That's amazing. Now flying over to the chess monster to check on its profits. Holy operation. Look at thunder. That is a lot of diamonds. I am feeling it right now. Oh, that is nearly two stacks of diamonds from the chess monster, which is amazing. Hey, I'm running for mayor too. Why are you on my shop? <laughs> we need a map like that. Oh, I don't know how to make one of those. There are maps everywhere. Who else is running now? Let's see here. Vote Joe Hill's dog catcher. <laughs> Classic Joe. Oh, that is incredible. Oh, false. This is awesome. Until we figure out how to make these amazing maps, we're just going to put some signs around here. Vote. Oh, wow. That's we're really starting this campaign off. Well, I can't even spell vote <laughs> scar. <laughs> There we go. There we go. That is our first uh, campaign sign. The signs are down and I like this saying, 
Vote Scar, trees and cats for all. Want a tree? How about a cat? Vote for Scar. Vote for good times. Love cats? Scar is the mayor for you. Keep the good times rolling. Scar for mayor. Our presence is now known here, which is very nice. We may not have a fancy map, but at least we've got ourselves a sign. And potentially, we can also start working on a campaign headquarters so that we can start organizing some efforts here on the server to spread the word, proper landscape, and organization here in the shopping district for more efficient commerce plus cats and trees flying back into our village from the shopping district i think we finally have our presence known in the mayor race and of course we have a bucket full of diamonds to show for our trip to the shopping district now we're back here for one reason and that is to fully configure this magical village into a trading hall. So when we move to our brand new projects, we have the ability to come here and trade with the misfit magical creatures for extra resources for our future projects. So we need to make a couple extra farms and secure the villagers just a little bit more. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. We have got all of the villagers in their spots and ready to trade. We'll start here at the observatory and it was really fun to actually build out the interiors. So we got our villagers here looking super snazzy and we even have another level of them, which good sir, you need a different head on. I know, I'll get you one, I'll get you one. But next to him, <laughs> He kind of looks like, I don't want to be associated with him. Like, this is the super serious um, villager. And this is the class clown. <laughs> oh, don't! I don't mean to insult you. I'm so sorry. It's okay. I love you. You have a big beak. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I love chicken tenders. <gasps> Wait, that's insulting. I'm sorry. I'm making this worse. Next is the farmer house. And yes, we've got a whole new set of farmers. This took a very long time but they are all set up and ready to go. And uh, they got their workstations, of course, and I've done some trading, so they are connected to these workstations, which is absolutely fantastic. And these little spaces are really, really tight, so it was difficult to get it all fit in there. And also, I do want to build a second story to this one eventually. Little spider house in here, little cat house in this one. And of course, we've got our butchers right here. The last set of villagers is our masons, and they're all set up in this building now this one's a little bit more heavy in the stone influence so i think that fits really well we just need one more because we only have three and this should provide us a beautiful assortment of mason blocks but what we're here for is the block of quartz which is going to be fantastic i wish we could have got some kind of discount for like two for an emerald that would have been amazing when we cured these guys not only do we have our villagers Oh, jelly. Anyway, not only do we have our villagers set up and ready to go, our magic pumpkin farm here is now producing pumpkins and melons that are being rooted straight on into our item sorter from Impulse. Look at this. Look at the size of those fresh pumpkins there. Looking super fancy. But I got to show you how this... Hello, good sir. How are you? <laughs> Oh, he's, he's camera shy. I don't know what it is, but I love water streams. Deep under the ground of the village, we have our mechanisms set up down here. Of course, down at the back here, we've got our potato and carrot dispenser that will send the items down the water stream and right up into the item sorter. And of course, that's the same for the wheat farm just below us. Now we have our pumpkin and melon farm here looking super fancy. Now this design is by the one, the only, the myth. The legend El Mango and the link will be in the description if you want to build the same farm. And then down below, of course, we have our mechanism that sends the items down the stream and then up the water elevator right here. And I could sit here all day and watch items go through the sorter like it's so fun. Look, here comes a potato. <laughs> oh, I want to do so much more with water streams. They're just so satisfying. The last thing I did here in the village after completing our pumpkin farm is I cleared out the chest monster and found that Corellis actually dropped off a looky looky me bookie wookie. I actually don't think that's how it's called, not a wookie. <laughs> like threw in a wookie in there. <laughs> looky looky at my bookie. 
Okay, Corrales, no, he left. Come back, Corrales, I need your help. But this isn't easy for a dyslexic person. Uh, Scar, do you place the wood signs around? Um, <laughs> yes, they're my Meyer signs. Okay, may I have a word with you in the town hall? Okay, let me call B-Dubs. Let's fly over to the shopping district and uh, see if those signs were okay or not. Mr. B-Dubs, you rang. I see you down there. Hello. I rang. Yes, hi. Woo-hoo. What a <sighs> wonderful unfurling. Oh, right right on the throw oh uh, but yeah you wow. uh you you mentioned the signs don't they look nice like look i couldn't come up with an exact campaign slogan so i made 10 different slogans 10 different slogans vote scar trees and cats for all okay mm -hmm. i mean this is something this is at least there are some other objects in that sentence come with me please there's minimal spelling errors by the way yeah that i'm very proud oh, of. oh thank you i appreciate that this one kind of caught my eye mm -hmm. um Vote scar. Minimal, I guess. Minimalist. Uh, it's like mi minimalist design. I'm appealing to the Apple users out there. Minimalist. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. But I, I think this is really bad. It's not this. I mean, that's pretty it's nice. It's not. And this is yeah. okay. I mean, this one's got some detail. I like it. But, right. um, but I think that simple. one up there. Go look up there. Go look up. In the sky? Go away. Yeah, look up at the sky. Turn around. Oh, yeah, hold don't, on. No, let's, let's both please. Look. Yes, I did it. No, I did are you it. I magic man? You. How did you do that? <laughs> distracted. Ah, you perfect. Did, oh, you did distract me. Yes, but this one, this one, want a tree? How about a cat? Vote Scar. That's good. Asking questions, forcing them to answer. These are all good things. Oh, I, I just feel like, is this your only platform? Like, are you just going to put the dark signs with the dark letters around? Well, it's all the wood that I had in my under chest. Okay, I I want you to win. I'm the one that encouraged you to do this. You have me to thank for this mayoral run. Mm -hmm, I and do. Uh, uh, I I want you to win. I want to see you win. I want you on par with with these. I want you on par with the mumbo sign and the, all the other signs. Look at this. Look at this sign it has a floating text above it. It is not. Oh oh, I didn't notice that. That is fancy. Also, this has a, a nice little heart down there. Um, right. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know how to make a map, so I made the signs. And you know, yeah. I feel like they, they might even create a little bit of a, a stir, like being so much different than the rest, you know? Maybe. Yeah. You, oh, you're different than the rest. Trust me. False, false did a great job, but I'm telling you, everybody's going to have blue signs because they're just using water. Okay. Yeah. They're going to all start blending in. Hmm. I can make you something real special. Ooh. How much do you charge? Free. Free win. That's what I charge. <laughs> if I don't win, how much do I owe you? <laughs> Your life. Oh. Okay. All right. It's I do fine. really want to. You're win. gonna win. Oh, thank you. You will. Yeah. I'll help you. We can do this. Also, how about your image? You're not you 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 got like this um this kind of unshaven, kind of raggedy yeah, with the underpants on. Uh, I'm a wizard. You're a wizard, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know if that's going to be the best for the platform. Um, oh. Maybe, maybe, do you think there's a possibility you could clean it up a little bit? I, I mean, I can put something together. I can I can do that. I will do that. Beat up. You're, you're inspiring me. You're Good. filling me full of motivation, which there was a lack of at one point yeah. or another, maybe. Um, okay, I think I could shave. I think I could put on a nice pair of shoes. Um, so, yeah, okay. All right. Can okay. you be my campaign mayor, please? Yes, I'll be your campaign mayor. <laughs> I'm even... I already campaign manager. Sure, I'd love to. Follow me this way, though. I want to show you one more thing, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, sweet. Okay, Scar, mm -hmm. over this way. Future, future mayor, Scar. Yeah. And you built this for a community. You're oh. already starting to build a community. Look at this. Oh, Look at all of these people. You warm my heart, B-dubs. Look at this. You added your head. Yes, I did. Yes, I'm Team Green. You see, the, just with these people alone, you convince these people, I think you've got the thing locked up. Ooh. So maybe you can use this this as your as a platform to kind of, you know, give them, give them some, get them in your side, get them to vote for you. You are the best campaign, um, what yes, was it again? Um, mayor. Mayor. No, no, sergeant? No. Well, I'm campaign sergeant. Yes. That's right. So, I, was it sergeant? Yeah, I want to be campaign sergeant. Okay, That's me. you're campaign sergeant. This is what I want. I want to just present all opportunities you can have to to potentially win this thing because I think with you and me together, this thing's a it's a lock. You got the job. Good. Thank you. A ten hut. <laughs> Formation. 
Move out. Okay, campaign sergeant. What's the plan here? Yes. You're going to make a map. I'm going to make a map for you. And okay. it's going to stand out like none other. Mm -hmm. That's that's step one. Step two, you're going to shave. <laughs> well, I mean, can I take, keep a little facial hair? You keep a little. Okay. Just thanks. clean it up a little bit for me. Okay, and no slippers? No slippers, no underpants. Uh, okay. Actual pants. Okay, actual pants. And then um, we need a campaign headquarters. I don't know if you've seen the mustache headquarters. But we've got to compete yeah. with that. So I've got some ideas. I'll work on that. You work on the map. And victory is ours. It's a lock. Yes. So now that P-Dubs is our campaign um, sergeant or chief. What was it? I forgot what it was. It was one of those things. We need to build a campaign headquarters. Now, Mumbo and Grian have this fantastic mushroom. No, mustache, not mushroom. Why do I always have that problem of mistaking mushrooms for mustaches? Either way. They've got their mustache headquarters, and we've got this sunken ship with a pillar on top of it. So we're making headway here. So yeah, this is uh, basically my campaign headquarters, a sunken ship. Uh, we have our chest of our books that we read because we're big readers here in the campaign, and our paperwork, and a clock because we're very punctual when it comes to calls and meetings. And what do we do with this? How do we make a statement here on the server that we're in this race to win it? Hmm. So now that I have an idea for what we're going to do, and I'll tell you about it in just a moment, but I'm going to leave little papers behind for when we do make a purchase so that the store owners know where those diamonds came from and maybe will help us at the ballot box. Now Tango and Impulse will know where those diamonds came from, and it is time to start working on our campaign headquarters over there. So I've got a storage and crafting station all built up, and our first task here is to build out a little island, and then eventually we're gonna build something pretty sweet up in the air first. Gotta work out a few more details, and then I'll tell you about it. The good times for all campaign island is now set up and ready to roll, and I'm quite happy about it so with oh wow wow so it's embarrassing when you see the inside of my head and it's empty so with that revelation of my head being empty wait wait hold on what's going on over here what in the world i just had this image of like a minecraft gopher doing what minecraft gophers would do burrow and make mounds in the ground <laughs> Oh, I am the most distracted human on earth. Anyway, as I was saying, now that we're on the campaign headquarters island, it is time to start working on the first start of our HQ. And with that, what I'm going to build is a giant hot air balloon up in the sky, and it will be holding down a giant vote for Scar banner with my head. We'll get jelly involved in it. It is going to be amazing. And I think it'll make a nice big statement for the hermits flying into the shopping district and they'll see that and be like, hmm, I also am an anti-mycelium advocate. So it's time to grab up our supplies and hit super fast build mode and build out this amazing banner and hot air balloon. So hit it. super fast build mode and we've got ourselves one giant 
hot air balloon with a tether attached to it, holding up a giant sign, vote for Scar. But not just any vote for Scar, a three-dimensional head that you can see from every angle as you traverse the shopping district. And uh, look at this little tether right here. One thing that I'm trying to do in Minecraft lately is learn a little bit more about gravity in terms of how it would influence in the Minecraft world. So you can see how the tether kind of like drapes down and attaches in a way that it just gives a little bit more realism and a little bit more life to a build. It even is on a slight angle and uh, like with lighting or with um, proportions or perspective, it's always fun to experiment with something new in Minecraft to improve your skills and gravity is the one we're working on. Now the hot air balloon itself was nearly the end of me. <laughs> I almost gave up like five times, but I kept with it and I think it's looking decent. What it needs is color and it needs our campaign colors. So with that, I want you to tell me what our campaign colors should be. So in the comments or on Twitter, hashtag campaign colors, come up with two primaries and an accent color and we will drape those colors all around the hot air balloon. And yeah, I tried many different colors, couldn't come up with anything. So I am tapping the Good Times of Scar brain trust out there to help me with the colors. And as for the uh, platform here inside the hot air balloon, we need to build out you know, some offices and I wanna make a telescope looking down at the mustache headquarters down there. Um, and we can keep an eye on other activities in the shopping district. Because I don't think any other campaigns have a headquarters yet other than the mustache headquarters. So with that, let me know what you want to see continue to be added to the hot air balloon. And of course, let me know what our campaign colors should be in the comments and on Twitter. Back here at Lair of the Snail and I am brainstorming. I'm cutting, I'm sewing, I'm stitching some new skins over here. And by the next episode, we're going to have a brand new skin for the mare race. So I'm very excited about that. And hopefully our campaign uh, chief, uh, sergeant? friend campaign friend will be happy with it so until next time this has been good times with scar and i always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the videos and if you if you if you played the video to the rating that would be much appreciated and until next time we'll see you later and don't subscribe because you may just become scarred for life